Good morning traders, it's Chris from daxtrader.co.uk and it is Tuesday the 27th of March. So this is the DAX technical analysis for today. If we take a look at the TPO, the main things to really pay attention to will be the 12100, this low volume node in the middle of Thursday's profile and the probable 160 to 180 zone afterwards if we do manage to cut through that level. That's going to be what I'm watching after for today. As far as price action goes at the moment, we have this particular pattern here. And this is a 60 minute chart. It's showing a mini pivot line or a multi pivot line an MPL, which is the black trend line here. You'll see that price action has been pushing down from that line uh, until yesterday. We got into this particular zone, which is a previous low, <coughs> excuse me. We've expanded through that uh, MPL up towards previous resistance around about the 12,000 level before actually turning around here and creating this valley formation. Uh, so we've got a mountain here and a valley straight afterwards, but the valley bottomed out at the, the, the other side of that MPL. So this kind of asks, answers the question of what type of trade could this well be? And that was an opportunity right there for what's called a type three trade, which is an expand and reverse. We've expanded through, kissed the line goodbye, and then reversed from this trend, which was uh, you know, pretty clearly bearish. So that's an interesting bit of price action and it looks like this at the moment. So we are still once more at that 12,000 level. We're actually inside a couple of previous highs and uh, and testing that zone. So we'll keep an eye out on that uh, for today. Now, what I found interesting from yesterday was the following. If we just go back and take a look, <coughs> excuse me, just go back and take a look at price action. And uh, now this following is going to be on the assumption of trading on the mini DAX futures contract, which is a five euro a point contract and um, the left hand side will show some information based on the number of points that the particular position will uh, be earning. All right, so if we just kind of replay the day really and just have a little look at this. So the first things first, we've got a gap higher and the gap higher is action, no doubt. You can see a clear, what, 100 point gap and then a continued move higher beyond some previous highs. So this is showing some action. And the kind of low, I guess, um, that we're using for any kind of measurements at the moment would be this one here. So as price continues, you can see here that there's a, a, a pop, a little pop higher than these previous guys here. And you'd start to think, well, if price cannot continue moving higher, it's going to probably form some sort of consolidation um, uh, around about these highs. We had another attempt to take out a previous high, a bit of a bookend there with two previous uh, relative wide range bars and price does start to consolidate around here has another attempt to take out previous high and take out this 12,000 handle but doesn't really make any progress and then from here you start to get this uh, rejection and it closes through some of these previous lows on this formation so it was an interesting bit of price action to consider that uh, this was then going to be the high of that move now this bit kind of looked interesting to me because I marked that out on the chart just taking those guys there um, it was an attempted move to break take out maybe some stop losses that were beginning to build around here but it was again bookended on the other side and so that really is a bit of just a wash um, but I found it interesting so I marked it out and it kind of still confirmed that this was a high point for me so I was kind of looking at this to think to ourselves, okay, well, if we've got some sort of action here, I wonder if we get any kind of opposite and equal reaction on the other side. Um, and lo and behold, there it, there it goes. And so price uh, tanked, basically creating this, this bearish leg. And I kind of thought to myself, all right, well, if that's a bearish leg and that's confirmed as a low, which, you know, I'm speculating completely. If you just take a basic Fibonacci through this, just to give you an idea of where the 50 line is, the 50 line would be here. And then if you draw another line from this previous low through that 50 line, you start to build a Babson target line. Now, Roger Babson um, was the guy who pretty much inspired Alan Andrews to create the median line method and uh, do his action reaction course. Um, and he basically was an engineer, Babson, and uh, as I said, for every action, there's an opposite and equal reaction that happens in, in engineering, it happens on the financial markets as well. 
So it was kind of based on his methodology to say that, well, if you get this median line, uh, well, it would actually be a target line in this case, the price at some point is probably going to come back and test this line because um, you've got your action reaction and you've got your original point, so you just draw a target line through the middle. And then you think to yourself, well, I can probably draw parallels on the other side of this. And what does that look like to you? Looks like a fork to me. So we can pretty much just draw that fork from those same three points, which would then give us something that looks a little bit like that. And it's an unconfirmed C, so this is very, very fishy. I don't recommend doing this uh, because that is not a confirmed low uh, just yet. But, you know, let's see what happens with it, because ideally what you want to look for is a test of the low median line parallel to see if that holds. And if not, maybe you could use some sliding parallels or even a warning line, which would look something like uh, that warning line. It can often be a trend barrier. So we'll see how that plays out and see if there's any opportunities. So that's your first test right there. And you could even say to yourself, right, I'm going to enter into an aggressive buy trade here. Put a stop loss underneath that low, which is actually quite wide. Excuse me, and then aim for a uh, target of uh, the median line. And if it gives you any other opportunities to get into the trade, maybe you'll take that, for example, another kiss of the lower median line parallel. So something like that, maybe you could say, um, or even uh, if you get another one, it'll give you another opportunity. So you could get into the trade a number of different times and uh, off it goes to kind of continue its move. And the good thing about median lines is that um, they often are quite magnetic and at this particular stage you would quite happily just be trailing your stop loss you know maybe the second minor swing back something like that just to kind of keep yourself protected and de-risked um, and in this particular case uh, there you go so the trade would have closed at the end of the day uh, you'd have been 145 points in profit so just doing a quick bit of maths that's I think about 725 euros <clears throat> in profit using a single mini DAX contract so uh, not a bad trade just based on a speculative fishing for C uh, fork type trade. And as it continued this morning, I mean, it gapped another 80 points or so, um, you know, would have clearly hit your target. But you could have actually quite comfortably got yourself into more than one position based on this by buying again at each bounce uh, and using that low median line as a push type trade. So that I found quite interesting. Um, so I'll be watching out for reactions to those lines again uh, for today. So there you have it. Uh, that's kind of um, my thought process from what was happening on yesterday. There were a couple of wide range bars that were interesting as well yesterday. Notified by these X's, go and have a look at those. Um, that gap this morning cut straight through that m zone I marked out. Do you remember when we were looking at the replay on the chart? Uh, that zone there looks slightly different on this one because this is a 500 tick chart, not a 1,000. Uh, but you'll notice that we gap straight through it. So I'm looking for probably a uh, close of the gap and uh, we'll see whether or not we get a reaction around about that level. Um, undecided as to whether or not I'm going to be buying or selling today. I think I'm just going to watch price action and let that uh, lead me for today. All right, guys, hope you have a cracking trading day and we'll be back again tomorrow with another video. Take care.